The city for the last number of years has been really putting a lot of effort into trying to celebrate um, house music, which is a genre that was born and raised here in Chicago. It's one of our musical treasures. Over the years, we've been developing a house music festival. Due to COVID this year, we're not doing any major events, and so we decided to instead create a neighborhood pop-up series called House City in the communities on the south side to help build the genre and the scene as we know it. I think having the DJs around the city, especially in the south and west side, is awesome, it's especially this event. The earliest origins of the house music as a musical movement outside of the genre, it began in South Shore. Anything that we hear of right now on the radio that is like electronic based is directly related to house music and directly related to these particular neighborhoods where it came out of. When I first traveled outside of the South Side though and went north, it was the LGBT community, the skater community, the goth community, the punk community, and all these communities converging. All of that was more things that we poured into house culture and how it became more and more inclusive. A friend of mine recently was here from out of town and he was just amazed at a party he was at on the South Side and seeing elders at the party, right? Trans women, so accepted. Seemingly very more thug-like, if you will. Just all in one space and everybody was there and one cause was to enjoy the music, enjoy the energy and the community. To this day, anywhere you go to a house music related event globally, it's going to reflect the inclusivity that was first seen in Chicago in the early 80s. So many people have always called Chicago a segregated city. House music is definitely that thing that blurred those lines that made us be less and less segregated. Without Chicago, there is no house music, so therefore, Chicago is the house city.